Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about EOS and voice. Yeah, I know, maybe you guys weren't expecting that, but maybe you were because that's what it said in the title of today's episode. <laughs> I just happen to be walking and talking because I have a really busy week and I uh, got to multitask, so here I am. So today is going to be a shortish type episode. I just want to give you guys my two cents on the EOS voice situation. Now, in case you guys aren't aware yet, I'm a huge, huge EOS fanboy. I love EOS. Um, I'm, I'm involved with EOS a little bit in the sense that um, I, I, you know, what is it like? I, I do um, talks, you know, for a little bit of the EOS community. Um, sometimes I'm, you know, part of, um, you know, this group that helps educate people on what blockchains are, what some of this technology is and all this other stuff. And uh, again, I'm just more, I uh, have a closer relationship with the EOS community because that's what EOS is all about. Oh man, hit the traffic. All right, let me see if I can get some uh, shade while I wait for the traffic. So, I'm, a, I'm just a little bit more involved within uh, the EOS community and all that good stuff. So therefore, you know, I uh, just happen to be a bit more educated on what's going on with EOS. Now, let's talk about Let's talk about voice. Now, if you guys remember, um, about damn, I want to say it's been a month now since uh, we've been talking about the fact that EOS on June first or June whatever the hell it was, there was going to be a major announcement and uh, so on and so forth. Well, the major announcement was uh, this thing called voice, and what what is voice? Voice is supposed to be um, the Steemit replacement, I guess, or it's supposed to be a brand new social media platform and uh, this brand new social media platform is supposed to be our, you know as you've already guessed decentralized on the blockchain um, very private um, you know all this other stuff you know all the stuff that we want within the space but what happened was that literally a little bit after sorry I just want to make sure I got my my keys all right so literally what happened was a little bit after the fact that um, this voice thing was uh, announced some of my friends within the EOS community were telling me and again you know some of them gleefully some of them not so much um, you know about the fact that, that you, you would need KYC in order to use voice so immediately as soon as I heard that I was sorely disappointed and pretty pretty upset to tell you the truth um, and I'm gonna tell you why. I mean, I was upset because, you know, the simple fact that, you know, what all this is about and the uh, simple fact that what uh, Dan Larimer is all about is, um, you know, decentralization, you know, getting away from government control, getting away from the bank's control, and so on and so forth. So, as soon as I heard that KYC was gonna be not just implemented, but it's gonna be a necessity, within the voice uh, ecosystem I was really pissed off because you guys already know that I talk about you know brave the brave browser and I talk about uphold and I talk about how that whole ecosystem is all messed up as well you know the fact that again if you guys already know about the brave browser it's it's great because it allows you to surf the web um, and allows you to um, block ads and and um, not just block ads but at the same time earn tokens and tip people tokens you know these uh, ERC 20 tokens that's you know to be exact that are these you know that are called basic attention tokens brave you know bat tokens and so at first the idea was great you know when it launched but you know over a year ago and a lot of people use the brave browser nowadays but what the problem happens you know the problem actually is the fact that um, once you you know try to get these uh, bat tokens when you try to access these bat tokens you know in order for you to um, what is it participate within the financial um, ecosystem that is in the, the brave browser um, you find out really quickly that you need a bank account you find out really quickly that you need to set up an uphold account so that you can access your tokens and then you can use those tokens for whatever you want just as as it was telling you 
so it's just like everything else it's like um i feel like not necessarily false advertising but you know they just literally omit certain things and you know most people don't really care because when it comes to like the whole fact of like oh i'm gonna um you know i'm gonna access my tokens um and then they they're you know they're they're prompted to um do kyc they're prompted to you know give up their id their banking information uh passport whatever it is just so they can participate and then on top of that you know we all start finding out there's restrictions you know there's all types of types of restrictions meaning that you know depending on what country you have depending on your credit score you know just like every other bank account meaning that it's not it's not accessible to everybody so right off the bat it's something that you know um, is not good for the community because we need things that don't require KYC that are worldwide that everyone can use everyone can participate in and so on and so forth without having uh, to, to uh, without having to ask permission from our masters so going back to voice um, as soon as I heard the KYC thing I was really pissed off and upset because immediately the first thing that came to mind was the same exact ecosystem that I just described to you through Brave. And uh, sure enough, after actually listening to Dan Larimer himself, you know, the creator um, of Voice and creator of uh, Block One and all this shit, you know, I recently, I recently um, found, you know, again, just by listening to him, I found out very quickly that, yeah, I was 100% dead on point. And, you know, at first when they were interviewing him, by the way, Dan Larimer is great and awesome. But we're all human. We all, you know, things happen. You know, I don't want to get too too detailed into, you know, my real opinion on him uh, him succumbing to the government. But the point I'm making is that he literally was saying that the original plan was to have KYC, but to have KYC just, um, you know, very minimal KYC, more like a, you know a blockchain KYC. Um, meaning so that you know you are verified as a user but that's pretty much it and that you know just by you being verified allows you to um, function within the voice ecosystem allows you to function um, and use voice and use EOS and all that good stuff I mean not use EOS but use uh, um, you know be able to function within the, the community because you know one thing that they didn't want to do or want to repeat was the same thing that happened with um, with steam it in which like all these bots and all these fake accounts were able to you know literally you know for lack of a better description you know take over the steam it platform so all of a sudden um, you know that was one the main reason for doing that that KYC or doing that um, um, you know um, some sort of a verification for each user so that was the idea and it was great but then as he was uh, you know as he continued to speak on this matter what happened was that the government kind of came up to him and said hey listen we know what you're doing here and we know that no matter how you set this up we the u.s government are going to look at this as a financial institution or a financial um product a financial what have you whatever so what does that mean it means that hey we got rules and regulations for you buddy and here they come that's it that's literally what it meant and what it was uh you know what it all boils down to and all that stuff so what happened was that all of a sudden, you know, um, in order for him to release voice, he had to um, release it with uh, KYC. By the way, I know, horrible, horrible choice of shirt today. But hey, it is what it is. Um, fuck, it's hot. It is noon, literally noon. The sun is right above my head. But anywho. But yeah, like I was saying, so at the end of the day, um, what it seemed like it was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I had a little too much for to, for lunch. Yep. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so what it seemed like was that Mr. Dan Larimer was kind of forced at the last minute um, in order to implement this uh, KYC, like real KYC within Voice, or otherwise people, or otherwise he wouldn't be able to launch Voice and people wouldn't be able to really use Voice. So now all of a sudden, 
this amazing, amazing platform that you know we thought was going to be the, the the real first step into uh, you know being censorship free, giving us that freedom that we all crave and love, and we're always complaining about. You know when we talk about uh, you know all the censorship that happens on the YouTube and uh, on Twitter and all these other platforms. Man, did I bring my? Oh man, I knew that's what I forgot. My towel. My sweat towel. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, forgot it. Man, it's hot. Alright. Alright, so what was I saying? Uh so literally what all of a sudden last minute. Mr. Mr. Dan Larimer. Let me see, where is it? More shade. I don't think there's any shade anywhere. Fuck. All right, just deal with it, bro. See, motivating myself to deal with the heat with no shade. I know, I might get a hat. I have a few hats, I'll wear the hats eventually. All right, all right, let me not uh, um, distract myself too much. So, yeah, last minute, you know, it seemed like, um, you know, Dan Larry was forced to include KYC and the real KYC. And why? Because again, just like we have within the Brave browser and the Bat token and all that stuff, you know, right now, they're gonna consider these voice tokens as um, as money, as currency, as whatever the hell you want to call them. Oh, look at this! Pretty awesome, huh? So, you know, they're gonna. So, if that's the case, if that's the case, then obviously, you know, those things are gonna, you know, be used. I mean, they're gonna be looked at just like any other money, any other currency, any other investment, any other you know thing like that, and therefore. It's not as free as, it, as we think it is because, again, um, how it works is that, you know, in order for you to use voice, well, first of all, once you sign up for voice and you're verified, a.k.a. The, the bank, you know, verifies you, then all of a sudden you can use voice. Once you're allowed to use voice, then, you know, there's like a whole ecosystem that has been created with uh, all these tokens so that, you know, you can uh, purchase... Uh, you know, so you can like, for example, you know, you can uh, upvote, you know, certain things like you do on Reddit. You can talk about certain other things or other certain things that are censored. You can, you know, use your voice tokens to, you know, proliferate the the spreading of certain news. Um, you can use your voice voice tokens to purchase influence. You can use your voice tokens, you know, for a million things. You know, these voice tokens are more, you know, they're more like again in the brand new realm of social and a social economy and social currency and that's what, that's where they're moving into but again if you automatically involved involve and include the banks into this process then it's not so um it's not so censorship free anymore because again um if the banks need to approve you well, you already know what that means. I mean, right now we're looking at Alex Jones. We're looking at all the censorship that's happening all over the web. It's basically that, you know what I mean? That they're getting censored by, you know, they're getting their PayPal t accounts taken away. They're getting their Patreon taken away. Um, they're not allowed to use a bank account, um, access a bank account, um, and so on and so forth. Look at WikiLeaks. You know, he has to use uh, Bitcoin and, and crypto and so on and so forth in order for him to in order for them to function, in order for them to, to, to push her, you know, in order for them to, to be able to financially finance, you know, in order for them to finance their endeavors. So, man, it's just hot. I'm just going to stand here for a minute while I finish this video. But look, the point is, all I'm saying is that voice is great. Voice is a great idea. Voice is awesome. Um, I signed up for the beta. I'm hoping to God that, you know, they, they approve me. And then not only do they approve me, but that I can get an account and I can use it and um, hopefully this will be a moot point but the point but but again you know as we've already learned from experience this is actually um, not a moot point you know this is actually a very very serious situation that we're kind of like involved in at the moment and um, you know mr. Larimer was trying to create something awesome for us and then again the banks and the government stepped in and said uh, 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 sorry not so not so fast and they implemented now this uh, this KYC thing so meaning that you know, again, if like Alex Jones wants to join voice, you know, he has to get approved by the bank first and approved by the people in power first. And that goes for everybody. So it's not so free as as uh, as uh, sold to us. 
And again, you know, from just listening to Mr. Dan Larimer, the people at EOS, the people, um, you know, behind this project, they're all kind of like disappointed as well. They understand fully well that, you know, what they're doing right now is just complying with, um, with regulators, with um, all that other shit. But, you know, this is not what they wanted to do. But again, you know, why um, I tell people to just stay encouraged and not you know throw in the towel is the fact that you know these are the growing pains that we all need to go through in order to get you know um the final result that we want and um you know again you know every time that we're building anything you know we're going to come across these hurdles we're going to come across these walls um that we're going to have to at some point you know um you know um break on through to the other side okay and if we don't well then we don't and they win but hey you already know guys the heat and the wind and the hot air <laughs> turn off the camera but anyways it's time for me to finish this episode at the end of the day all i really wanted to say is the fact that you know something like this is just another stepping stone in the right direction okay because you know the fact that dan larimer and the people behind this are fully aware of what's going on um just like the guy behind brave browser you know the guy that invented javascript you know he again said look the reason i made this open source is because i know what's going on here and so on and so forth so you know even though we're making some baby steps you know all along the way you know we're making steps you know we're literally moving forward and uh it's our job out here you know within the the space you know the crypto space or whatever the fuck it is you know we're involved in for us to take the reins um from these individuals you know once we they take us to a certain point and then we got to take it to the next level and that's it i mean again you know i've talked about the center which is the replacement for the brave browser eventually Hopefully, EOS and Dan Larimer can create the replacement, you know, for um, for a voice, you know, one that's not the way uh, that's set up the way it is right now. But unless we actually talk about these things and bring this up and make sure that we're, you know, 100% all on the same page, it's not going to happen, you know. So this is why I make these videos, you know, in order to spread the word, in order to enlighten people on what's going on, because. Not, and not everybody, you know, and understood what I was talking about when it came to this stuff. And uh, and that's, you know, that, that kind of sucks a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I would expect more people to really know what's going on here and what the implications of all this stuff really is. But then I understand it's like, well, that's my job. That's what I do. You know, there's those people out there that are coding and other people that are building and other people that are you know um financing and other people that are doing all kinds of things so you know my job in this space is uh you know literally um you know as futurist a speaker um i'm, I'm, I'm from the business side of things I'm, i bring uh, a different perspective to all this stuff that allows you know all of us to you know put all this information together and uh you know move forward and all that stuff but it's a process, you know what I mean? It really is. And so that's why every one of our voices is important. Not just my voice, but your voice. All of our voices. And we all need to do our own part, okay? Whether it's just spreading the knowledge, whether it's making videos, whether it's coding um, a replacement for, you know, the failed projects. It doesn't matter. You know, as long as we all know what's at stake here, that we are up against the governments and banks, and that the governments and banks, they know they're up against us, and they're fighting against us, and they're pushing back so why are we not doing the same thing we are by the way we are but it's just that we need to keep increasing the ante okay there's more of us and there is of them and this technology again is like i've said a billion times it's a pandora's box it's already open and that's it you know what i mean there's no putting it back so it's our job you know it's it, it, how all this is going to become uh, mainstream and how it's going to get mass adoption is, is by us you know we got to work more harder faster and continue you know rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and eventually that's it you know it's just going to be our system that's going to be around and the old system isn't going to be around we've seen it a billion times in human history okay this will be a billion and one all right guys well i was pretty much already done before i got rudely interrupted again but you already know the deal i gotta say thank you to all my patrons i gotta say thank you to everyone out there sending you know all kinds of donations to help me and lambo keep feeding ourselves i want to say thank you to everyone out there that leaves a comment leaves a thumbs up or a thumbs down um watches my videos and so on and so forth i just want to say thank you thank you thank you and uh don't forget to also please like please subscribe please share share this knowledge 
watch all my videos and um that's it you know don't forget to have an amazing awesome rest of your day and uh, i'll see you guys manana thanks again for for watching as always peace